This video will walk you through the most efficient methods of configuring VLP-enabled sensors with Bluetooth capability using the VLP mobile app. By the time you have completed this video, you will be confident your sensors are secure and capable of being easily customized in the future. Whether your application is small or large, these best practices provide a systematic way to optimize your installation time. Step 1. Shut off power. Step 2. Before installing each fixture, remove the name sticker. Place the sticker on the grid map. Step 3. Install the fixture. Repeat step 2 for each luminaire, placing the next sticker on the grid before installing each one. Step 4. Restore power. Step 5. Open the Sensor Switch VLP app on your mobile device. Step 6. Select the pin. Set the high trim to 20%. Set the photo cell to disable. Set the occupancy time delay to 30 minutes. Send to all the in range fixtures using the Select All feature. Repeat until all fixtures dim to the 20% trim level. You may have to reposition yourself so that the Bluetooth captures the specific fixture on the app. If specific fixtures do not dim to 20%, identify the fixtures on the grid map using the ID. You will use the app and identify the fixture using the ID from the sticker on the grid. Step 7. Restore the sensor to factory default operations. In the previous step, you ensure that you have an established connection to each sensor. The next step is to set the pin restore for each sensor to its operational defaults on the sensor setting screen. Select Factory Reset. Tap the Next button. On the In Range Fixture screen, select all the fixtures and tap the Restore Defaults button. This will restore the sensor's behaviors to the factory defaults. You may have to relocate to ensure you've reset all the fixtures within the space. Once you visually see the fixtures change from 20% trim to 100% default trim, your sensors are now operational according to its defaults. Now you'll be able to easily connect to any sensor to customize any behaviors available on the app. How to customize. Use the rename fixture screen if you want to change the names of the fixtures in your application. Reference the grid diagram and ID stickers to rename the sensors. Use rows and columns to name sensors which will allow those without the grid reference to intuitively understand your layout. On the In Range Fixture screen, click the arrow next to the fixture you would like to rename. Type in your new name and select Done. It's that simple. With these simple techniques, you can efficiently install and configure VLP-enabled Bluetooth sensors with confidence. Now and in the future, you'll be able to customize your lighting and controls from the safety and security of the facility floor.